Et tu crois que tu as collé, bro, pour me dire. This migration, you, I don't know how to say it. There is some proverb. I don't know how to say it. Il le coin, le coin, belle et roumo. Tu m'en as dit, voici, vous me connaissez, ni me connaissez, ni et à une robot à gagner à Brutine et à y. Bano Baye. My name is. Latte, um, Latte. I belong to Fit Square Boxing Gym, and I'm an assistant coach of the national team also. So far, if I can look West Africa or something, Ghana is doing well. But there are contradictions. If I can say, excuse me, to say, people love money too much, so they do things on their own, which doesn't order well for the boxing. Boxers, which, you know, they have not to expectation, they take them travel because of money. If I can say, because of money, they take them. So, it will take long before we we'll get the world champion we want. And before somebody will turn world champion, somebody have to invest. You have to invest a huge money. And you know, <laughs> if somebody said I'm managing my boxer, I've drew a record, so so and so 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 and so. I want to take him outside. <laughs> you have nothing to say. You have to let it go. And now boxing have ten. Uh, I don't know if I can say function. When you go there, <laughs> it's a it's a lot of problem. They are facing a lot of problem. And they are, they, are, they are damaging the image of Azuma Nessin, Aikote, and Joshua Krote, and DK Poison. How people know about Ghana, about boxing. Now boxing is, you know, declining, etc., etc. It's very bad and it's very painful. Uh, somebody like um, Joseph Agboko. Michael Ayi, Abu Lai Amidu, Yakub Amidu, Frederick Lawson, Manu Pranch, Emmanuel Kote, Emmanuel Nim, Park we see uh, a lot of them, Duke Maika, Jesse Lati, Jerry Lati, Wasiu Mohammed, and a lot of them. Even some of the foreign boxes, Yak Yakubu Karim, and so many. So. I can some of them says I forget about it, a lot of them. I'm proud of them. But I haven't got anything from them. Why? They say people do money laundering. Now they do boxing uh, laundry, if I can say. My ways. Boxing have ten something like they are using people slave trade. They do it like slave slave trade. You sign a contract, uh, ten thousand or twenty thousand dollars, then they give you two thousand or three thousand. That is what they've been doing with the people, the boxers. All of them want to travel, especially those who haven't joined the national team to travel with the national team to, you know, know something better about boxing. Them they are easy because he wanted to travel. So if you, the coach, are stopping him to not to go. You tell somebody, hey, they will say, hey, Coach, why the boy want to travel and you don't want him there? And then they started fighting you, the coach. You can be there. You see that they, they tell you the person is on the way going to. You have to allow it and go. And if they go round one, round two, they stop them. That is what is going on in the country. What is the state of Western uh, Wasiwu have lost his focus. Why is he, he has lost his focus? Because he's a good boxer. I know he's a very good boxer. We started with Wasiwu. Fine. The problem on the Wasiwu now is from the brother, his senior brother. I was there one fun time and they just called me, they are finding something, they tell so, so and so, bra, bra, and I went, I called Wasiwu that they should come. Before they would sign anything to him, 
they have to consult me. Why did your brother have to go and sign? Since we started, you I started was you from juvenile boxing at the age of eight. When the brother was there, nobody knew about what he's doing. Nobody, they, they care about him. Until and I let you at you fought some small, small, you know, individual championship and a wonderful competition. But then, you know, I was not in the country. Wasu was telling me he wanted to turn professional. I said, no, Wasu, you are not there. I wanted to push you to the national team so you cannot turn professional as the coach. You know, I started with Manu Planch, Wasu. You see a lot of boxing, you know, on my gym with them. You know, by then he was young, so he told me, I said, okay, Wasu, just if you wanted to turn professional, you know, well, I believe I can do something for you, so let's try something. So I started with Wasiu, me, myself, and you know, all along, uh, Isaac Dugbe came around. We organized, and I said, okay, I would like Wasiu to give the Dugbe sparring. And during the sparring, I said that no, you know, Wasiu is, is, is improving, although Dugbe is ahead of him. But he pushed Dogbe to somewhere. I, I'll call myself international coach because in Ghana, Ghana right now, I want any coach who can challenge me that he can train any boxer more than me. Because I know I'm a best. And I'll say it and I'll say it. Anybody who don't like it, they should put all, all of us on the field and they give us boxers to train. They will see the best from me. I won't let somebody push my destiny down. What I have unless I die. So, you know, during the sparring, I said, I know, Pasu can prove something. So let me, you know, it's like school, I have to graduate in. So I came in contact with one guy called uh, Mr. Nico, who is in my area. He said, okay, you would like to sponsor Pasu. These days, if you are going to fight professional boxing, you the boxer, you have to pay. We pay before we fight. We pay to the matchmakers before they will give you the fight. They will bring somebody along. We started gradually, gradually. He fought about six or seven. And one fine time, there are some promoters from Australia came to our gym because of Dobe, not because of Wasiu. To let Wasiu spy Dobe. And that day, Wasiu just perform. And the people call me and say, this guy can reach you somewhere but they would like to manage him. I said, oh, fine, if they like to manage him, then why not? And I call Wasi and I say the same thing to Wasi. Wasi would say, okay, whatever I will say, I'm the coach. You will agree with me if the people say. So then they ask me, okay, so far who is handle Wasi? I say, oh, Mr. Nico, I'm the trainer, but the money they spend on him is not me, from somebody. So we all came and sit around, round table. Dugbe father was there, Mr. Kwashi was there, and about five or six of us, they asked the man that, now how many have spent on Wasiu because they want to take over from there, then they manage Wasiu because money spending, boxing, before you be a champion, they have to spend money on you. The man said, I have nothing to take. I love the boy and I give. If they have something to give, they should give the coach, not him himself. Okay, man, even said, there the double father said, okay, if, what did the man say? If you know you have spent the, some small money, he should say, then they, if they give him, then, and I said, ah, you cannot say so. He was feeling what he wanted to say and he said so. So just leave him alone. So we just forget about it, then we came and signed. And these people started promoting him, promoting him, promoting him, promoting From national title to Africa to WBO Global. Now the family started to come in. in. Yeah, if, if I can remember uh, one fun time, one fun time, I was in the house. And Mr. Boam called me. 
that Wafiu family want to see us, so we went and meet at Adwanka. By then, and I saw the brother that he has some different mind in what we are doing. He started to bring all of things. Now, Wasiu boxing, the, pro, the family have to involve everything Wasiu will do. I said, no, he haven't reached there yet. The family will be coming in. But you have to take your time. That is not how we do the boxing. I was there with the manager and some of my coaches. They, they know what is going on. We talk blah, blah, blah. The brother don't want to accept. And Wasiu was quiet. Wasiu doesn't say anything. And there the brother was saying all those things he wanted to say. You know, I'm very sharp and I'm very smart. And there I saw that the brother was having different mind in what we are doing. We come still we didn't we, we couldn't come on conclusion and we just left. Later they said they wanted to see us. We went to the manager's office and Wasiwu himself started to say now if he wanted to fight boxing, if the brother is behind him, he can fight well. See ah so for a long time, so many years you are fighting, if your brother is not with you, you can't fight well. Now your brother. And from there, I saw that the, the brother was the one pushing. And he, he started to come and claim uh, he, want a, he want a car. He want a house. I said, well, see, we are saying bullshit. I was there. One fun time, I'm in the gym training. I saw the mother was holding uh, in gun. We call it Chinsi Kunku. Pack, 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 pack. He's knocking on the street, coming to our gym day. I went in, confront him. Madam, why? He said, I, I, I've taken his son from him. I've married for his son. So many has been no, 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 no. If the girl you are talking of, I don't know the brother. I don't know the girl. The brother was the one who said he saw the girl on the Facebook and he gave the girl to your, your son. So how can me take a girl from your... He talk, I envy. Some of the uh, coaches, the youngest coaches I'm training my assistant so that, you know, this woman, there's something wrong with him. If they, they wanted to quarry, I said they should leave him. My sister just come in, head down and, you know, they took her away. Since then, was will start to behave. I feel very, very bad, very, very bad. And you know, there is some proverb. I don't know how to say it. I just hear so many things. You know, these things uh, I've experienced a lot from Joseph Agbeko, from Abidulai, Amidu Yakubu, Amidu. I've experienced a lot. So, you know, God has given me a strength and patience to handle this. This can never do me anything. I will always stand on my feet and do what I wanted to do. Nobody can let me down in my boxing doing. I'm assistant coach of the national team. There is so many travel. And my boxers are inside and they drop me. That can never bring me down. If they do that and I'm very stronger and stronger and stronger by the name of God, and I'm still producing unless, you know, I, I just pass away. So many medals they have got for Ghana. All of them from my gym. If people like, they should go and goggle and see the boxes. And I'll prove to them. That's why I'm saying I'm best. Nobody can take my best from me. And whatever I am. You know, we went to African uh, coaching training. Almost 30, 33, 34 countries. We are number, number one. We are four coaches, one as far as away. We are best. African best. We proved to the people, even said this in French country. We didn't hear French, but we proved to them. In the technical skills, we proved to them that we can coach boxing. And the, all of them uh, crap. They say we can coach boxing. Oh, boxing, Ibanyeno. 
Aïe, si tu pas un Ibano, voici où tu es, tu pas un Ibano. Bien, au coq de Chipon, tu es un Ibano. Si tu es un Ibano, tu es Bien, tu es un Ibano, tu es un Ibano, tu es un Ibano, tu es un Ibano, tu Bien, il est bien que tu ne te dises pas que tu ne te dises pas que tu ne te pas que tu ne te dises 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 pas que tu ne te Bien, le coq est bien que je suis en train de me faire. 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 Je su